Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I have another plant video for you. As always, if you want more plant content on my channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me so much. And I also have a playlist full of houseplant videos. I'll link that up in the cards uh, so that you can watch more videos like this. Today's video is going to be on a specific type of plant and the care for that plant. I have two um, I have two different variations of the plant and I feel like they're doing really well in my care. So I'll show you the plant um, and then I'll go through all the items that I use and kind of my care tips for it. If you find this video helpful, please let me know and I'll make more videos like this for you. And if you know which type of plant you want a care video on, please let me know that too because maybe I'll have that plant already and I can do a care tip. I like to do care tips on plants that are actually doing well though, because otherwise I can't really give good care tips if the plant's near death. So the, this plant is the, the two plants that I'm gonna talk about today are the begonias. I forget the exact name of this one here, but it is gorgeous. I'll link, I'll put the name in the description here. It is huge. It's a huge plant and it's, I got this as a cutting. I'll insert a photo in a few minutes about what it looked like when I got it as a cutting and I grew it from a cutting to this and it's grown so much all through winter. Like I'm gonna have to propagate it and give it, it's like give it away, it's like bigger than me. And you can see it close up here. It's beautiful. I'll show you this side. And you can tell that the leaves are super healthy. There's not much crispy edges to them. Um, they're just doing really well. And this side even sprouted up a new growth here. It wasn't here before. But yeah, this is, I think it's Begonia Lucerna, but I'm not certain. I'll link, I'll put the name here. So now I'm going to insert the picture of how this plant started. as a cutting so you can see the growth in less than six months which is insane also I live in a climate in Canada that is extremely dry and I've been told that people have to have begonias in a lot of humidity and stuff but I just have mine out with the rest of my plant so I'll go through everything about this how I care for this plant um, and then if you find this helpful let me know if you have any care tips let me know underneath as well so starting with how I cared for it so I received it as a cutting and I rooted that cutting in water until the roots were quite long about this long probably then I planted it in soil the soil mix that I use and that I love is this Pro Mix. I'll have everything linked underneath. I love this Pro Mix and I also get the Pro Mix Perlite that I add in as well. I probably add um, normal soil and then 30% of extra perlite so it's really well draining. And with this plant, I water it when I see it drooping. So right now it's pretty standing up pretty straight it'll actually start to bend forward like it looks like it's leaning forward and that's how I know it's time to water it and I'll drench the whole thing. Also a lot of people have said that begonias don't like their leaves getting wet but this one I take it under my sink and I use the shower head and I um, I use the shower head and I wipe, I shower down all the leaves too to get all the dust off because there's so many leaves and it's so fast growing. And for sunlight, I have it in my south facing window. I have like a coffee table where I have all my favorite plants. And this one is behind the very back. So there's all these plants in the front that get the most sunlight and this one's at the very back. So it gets bright indirect sun and it, maybe a couple hours of direct light, but it's shadowed by tons of plants as well. I don't use a humidifier for it. I just have it with a bunch of plants to increase the humidity. So that's, this is the soil mix that I use. So the Pro Mix soil mix with 30% extra perlite. And this is the same care for both plants. So the second begonia that I have to show you is this one. It's the Angel Wings 
Lucerna, I believe it's called. This I received as a cutting as well. And some of the leaves are crispy on this, but those were crispy before I got them. Um, the rest of them are looking pretty good and it's got tons of new growth, like up here, if you can see. There's tons of new growth and here on the sides as well. And so this one's been doing pretty well too. It looks really good and it grows really fast. And that one's on top of my fridge facing the north facing window. So it gets bright and direct sun all the time. And same thing, I put a couple plants around it to increase the humidity. This one's only been in my care for like maybe a month or two. So I think with it'll get acclimated to my house and then the crispy leaves, all the new ones are looking a lot better than the other ones. Um, but it's still growing at like rapid speed. So with these plants, we've talked about the sun, we've talked about the watering, whenever they look like they're drooping forward, I just drench them and I wash their leaves down too to get all the dust off. But I just make sure that I do it on a day that it's cloudy so the sun doesn't hit their leaves when they're wet and can burn their leaves. And then some of the other products that I use for these, obviously I fertilize them a lot because they're growing like crazy. So with my plants, some people don't fertilize in the winter. I do as long as there's growth. And these are the four different types of fertilizers that I've tried. So, and I've tried them on these plants and the plants love them. So the first one here, and I'll link everything underneath. You don't need all these, but it's just what I've tried on them. So if you had any of these, you know that it'd be safe for the plants. So the first one is this Marfil Soil Enhancer. It's like a marine phytoplankton. Um, and you're supposed to shake it really well. It's like organic marine phytoplankton soil enhancer. So it's not really a fertilizer. It's like a soil enhancer. It's something like Super Thrive or something like that. I just shake this really well and I water, um, I water with this probably like every second watering or something when I don't wanna do a full fertilizing and it never burned any of my plants. The second that I put it on the plants, it seems like there's new growth immediately. It kind of smells a bit like seaweed, but it doesn't smell that bad. And the plants just seem to love it. They spit out growth like the day after they're watered with this. And I've never seen any yellowing or anything like that that can happen if the fertilizer is too strong. So this is a safe bet to go with during the winter especially. But like I said, I've never had a problem watering my plants as long as they are showing signs of growth, which these ones are. Also, I've got just this Miracle Grow, Miracle Grow um, plant fertilizer. It's just the powder. I get the big tub on Amazon and you just mix uh, with the uh, whatever it says here. It says it's just a normal Miracle Grow fertilizer. It's super inexpensive and it's a chemical fertilizer, so it's not natural or anything. And this, if you don't dilute it properly, you can burn your plants. Like when I first started using it, I always find it hard to mix them up because my watering can's small, so I don't mix it to the gallon or whatever it says. So it's kind of like a guessing game for me. And the first couple times I used it, I did get some yellowing leaves on different plants. So this is a great affordable fertilizer, but just maybe try half the strength when you're just trying it out and I water or I fertilize every single time I water when there's new growth. So I'll like alternate between all these fertilizers. And the next fertilizer is this one here, this Schultz uh, liquid plant food with iron, magnesium, and zinc. And you just use seven drops in your watering can. To be honest, this is my least favorite out of all the fertilizers I'll show you. I just find when I put this in, it doesn't burn my plants, but it doesn't do anything either. Like I don't see any active, like this one, it's like the next day immediate. This one, I can see things growing too and sometimes burning if I put too much. This one, it doesn't do too much at all. So I wouldn't repurchase this or recommend it. It just doesn't seem to do much. And the last fertilizer is the stinkiest, but probably one of my favorites. Um, I've seen Plant Arena recommend this. It's the Alaska Fish Fertilizer. It literally looks like sludge and it smells horrible. Like it smells like something died in your house. Um, so you have to use this in the spring or summer when you can open your windows 
or just use it very sparingly. The first time that I use it, I poured too much. You want to just pour, like I think it says that one teaspoon or two teaspoons. You want it to be very diluted. So this bottle will last you forever, I feel like. Um, and it smells horrible while you water. It smells horrible till it, um, until it dries out. And it can even, if you're using terracotta, leave a bit of like mold on the outside of the pot. So you have to wash that off. But the plants just love it. Every time I put this on, again, it's another one that you can fertilize all year round. And as long as you follow the instructions and there's growth on your plants, you won't get any burning or anything. And as soon as you use it, your plants are like, they're just so happy and growing almost immediately after. So I really love that one as well, but the smell is, I can't even put into words how bad the smell is. Like you just have to just picture sludgy fish and the texture of it is so gross too. Like it's just kind of messy to work with, but I would still repurchase it just cause my plants love it. Even if my house smells, you just have to do it on a day that you don't have visitors, I guess. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is this here. I got it on Amazon. It's a cloning paste for or orchids. It's a tiny, tiny thing. It's a clo cloning paste for orchids. And how I use this is I have like a safety pin and I sterilize my safety pin and then like I sterilize it with alcohol, then I dip it in here. And then if I have like a part of the plant, like with this one that I got as a cutting, you'll see a bunch of random cuts here and stuff that look quite bad. I'll use that clean pin that's sanitized, dip it in the hormone and then stab it at the top here and look at the new growth coming from that piece now. See right here? there's new growth coming from wherever I stabbed it. And uh, it's here, I've used it up here and there's new growth. So basically it's just a, a rooting, or a, sorry, it's a cloning paste that's used for, it's similar to Kiki paste, but this one has a different name. I'll link it underneath, you can get it on Amazon, it's super cheap. And I feel like you, this would last you forever because you use just like the top of this pin amount. So it's just like smaller than a, pea size amount like it's so small and it makes a big difference i've used it on philodendrons i've used it on begonias but i find begonias love it the second that you put that on there's like new growth coming all over the plant not even just on the places that you put it so i really recommend that so that's everything for this video i hope it helped you care for your begonia Be I hope it helped you care for your begonias. Um, let me, oh, and one more thing I wanted to mention is about propagation. So you can cut the plant anywhere here and you just tear off the leaves. You'll see the little nodes. You could just like cut it here, tear off this leaf and you can root it really easily in water. And then you can wait, to, it gets kind of like fine looking roots. like. And when they're about this long, then you can pot it up into soil and share your plant. Um, and I find that's really nice that it's so fast growing to share. I find it's really nice that it's so fast growing and easy to propagate to share with others because when people come to my house, they always seem to ask like, what is that? plant and they really like this one too because the polka dots are so cute on it um, so it makes it easy to share and, and trade with friends and family um, so thank you so much for watching I hope this video helped you care for your begonia plants I'll include pictures like I said in the video about how they started versus how they are now and I think they're doing really well so I'm excited to try more begonias and experience experiment with that um, and I'll continue making these how to care for videos as long as you find them helpful. Thank you so much guys. Take care. Love you and see you in my next video. Bye.